I am ready for my next trip and heading to Iceland for four days with a really good friend. She's on the other side of this camera right now, so you'll meet her tomorrow. See you there! Hey guys, it's our first day in Iceland and we are getting ready to go on a glacier hike. We just booked it last night and we only had it confirmed this morning, so it was a very spontaneous thing. But we can't wait to see what it's gonna be like. I have no idea what it's gonna be like to walk on a glacier. So we're gonna have to have those spikes on our shoes and everything. And it's a tour for three to four hours, so I'm just excited. This is kind of crazy. We are getting ready to go along a glacier walk. Just having a little lunch before we go. And I'm wondering what we're actually gonna do here. We don't know what we're gonna do. We just know it takes about three to four hours. Yeah. And hopes of we'll fill you in on the way. I'm ready to conquer glacier. Look at these feet. I hope I, I hope I can do this. My fingers are already cold. I don't know how I'm going to handle doing any video up there while hiking. But we'll see. We are on our way up to the glacier. And it looks amazing here. It's a little bit like walking in sand, right? Yep. <sighs> it's really tough. What do you think of the view? It's all right. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's so beautiful. It's like a light blue. It's like aqua. Here comes Tina. How are you Seriously? doing? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm still... Uh, Standing. So all of this ice that you see here is just compressed snow. And then the new ice that forms kind of pushes down the older one in front of it and the glacier starts to flow down the valley. I think we're halfway up the glacier now and it looks amazing. I don't know if the camera can capture how beautiful it looks, but look at this view, it's amazing. Every year the glacier grows by a hundred, no, 40 meters, but it retracts by a hundred every year. So it shrinks by 60 meters every year. So in a hundred years it'll be gone. Uh, Mulan is just a sinkhole in the glacier. Uh, as the water runs down, it starts to condense, basically because of gravity, it's not able to go any further. Uh, a little lagoon forms on the water, and then the pressure of this lagoon actually drills a hole through the glacier. We made it to the top. I'm so tired. It is so tough walking up these hills. This glacier is, it's not really that steep, it's just really long. I think we've been walking for two hours maybe. Just nine months ago, this ice was eight meters higher than it is now. That's how fast it's melting. Yeah. We're walking down again. We are. It's been great. <laughs> Whoa. We're going into a glacier cave. Yep. It's very it's exciting. A little and scary. Steep. It's so steep. Look at this. It's so dark in there. 
the bottom of those big holes, those big moulins, usually uh, it gets much smaller and it turns into something like this. The temperature of the water is just a little bit higher than the ice, so this is why it kind of melts it away. But you can see it's kind of making this snake-like quality, just like in a, in a river uh, yeah. you would see uh, in the outdoors. Um, and then you can see all of these air bubbles. You can see just kind of all over the glacier. And something very important about them is if you take the air outside of them, you can actually see uh, what the temperature was in that year. You can see what the CO2 level was in that year. You can see uh, how much rain or precipitation there was in that year. <sighs> We're having snacks. We are almost at the bottom of the glacier and it has been great. It's been on my bucket list forever that I wanted to go on a glacier. And it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs>